thank you very much to Greykoff and Jason by my side because I wanted to talk to these both players together. First up, congratulations. And since this was a rematch of the MSI final versus RNG, but the difference was so big, Faker, I'll go to you first. What was the biggest improvement in T1 play compared to that match? Our gameplay. Our gameplay and also our draft has become so much better since then and also our teamwork. Fantastic. Uh, Zeus, there was especially a big comeback in game two, which was pretty unbelievable. Can you tell me how you came back in that second game? 그리고 제우스 선수 이제 이 세트에 정말 기적과 같은 한타 제 역전승이 나왔는데요. 어, 그렇게 그 당시의 상황에 대해서 좀 다시 설명 부탁드립니다. 음, 일단 웨이 선수가 옛날에 MSI 때부터 탑 라인 개입을 정말 잘하는 선수라 생각해서 좀 최선을 다해서 좀안 죽고 하려고 했는데 그 브리드 선수가 되게 딜결을 뭔가 예민하게끔 잘 해서 너무 많이 죽은 것 같고 그래도 일단 뭔가 그냥 좀 정신이 살짝 나가, 나갈 뻔했는데 그래도 항상 이제 여기 현장에 계신 분들이 좀 이렇게 계속 소리 질러주시고 해서 좀잘 못할 것 같아요. I'm aware that Wei is really good at playing around the top lane because I experienced that in MSI. So I try my, be my best to not die, but Breed was doing such a great job trading on the top lane and creating that angle. So I died too many times. So I was almost out of the game, you know, I was losing it. And then, but still, we had so many fans out there like supporting us, yelling for us. So I was able to, you know, keep my mentality strong and come back. Wonderful. Now, um, since you both uh, are different and that Faker is the most experienced player on the roster and you are relatively new, I'd like to start with you, Zeus, but how does it help you to have someone like Faker by your side at these international tournaments? The two of us have a very different approach to the team as well. Faker is the most experienced player in the team, and Zeus is a very young player. Faker is a very young player, so Faker is a very young player. What do you think of Faker as a very young player? Well, I think it's a very young player. Well, I think it's a very young player. Well, I think it's a very you know, just looking at him, you know, I feel so reliable. He has this aura. Well, um, maybe it doesn't take that long for Faker to answer the other side of the question, but Faker, uh, how does it help you to have this uh, younger player, this new uh, player by your side? 그렇다면 이제 반대로 또 페이커 선수 입장에서는 이렇게 어린 또 신인 선수 함께 했을 때 어떤 또 이점이 있다고 보시나요? 일단 다들 굉장히 좀 어, 자기만의 색깔이 굉장히 강해가지고 그런 것들이 저희 팀의 강점으로 드러나는 것 같고 그리고 제우스 선수는 신인인데도 신인 같지가 않아가지고 어, 좀잘 적응하는 것 같습니다. So I think all of the T1 players have their own color and strength. It combined together, it becomes a strong color and strength of T1. And also Zeus, even though he's a new player, who would ever think he's a rookie, you know? So he kind of gelled into the team really well. Absolutely. Now, Faker, when it comes to T1 versus RNG, this matchup has so much history and you have been in every iteration of it. I want to ask you what you think is the biggest difference in you as a player between the first time we saw this matchup in 2013 and today in 2022. So the T1과 R&D 둘의 라이벌 매치업은 정말 오랜 역사를 갖고 있고 페이커 선수는 그 모든 사실은 경기를 치르셨는데요. 그렇다면 가장 첫 번째 R&D전 2013년도와 지금의 R&D전을 치른 2022년도의 페이커 어떤 점이 가장 다르다고 보세요? 일단 선수들도 아예 다르고 그때랑 지금이랑 저 또한 많은 변화를 겪었기 때문에 어, 모든 것이 다른 것 같습니다. 
I want to say everything is different because the players are different mm -hmm. and also I have gone through so many changes too. Mm -hmm. um, next up, <laughs> next up you will be facing JDG. <laughs> Zeus, I want to ask you first, the matchup versus 369 is coming and I know a lot of people are looking forward to it. What are your thoughts on your opponent for the next round? 이제 제우스 선수에게 먼저 질문 드리고 싶은데요. 다음 4강전 상, 상대는 JDG고 이제 라인 매치업은 369 선수와 함께 성사될 예정인데요. 어떻게 예상하시나요? 음, 일단 진동의 좀 탑점 글이 굉장히 강력하다고 생각해서 좀 많이 경계가 되는 것 같고 그리고 또369 선수가 되게 뭔가 부르저나 그라가스 같은 지표를 굉장히 잘 달아서 네, 좀 열심히 잘 해봐야 될것 같습니다. I believe JDG has a very strong top in Jungle Duo, so I'm watching out for that. And also, especially 369, he's really good at Bruiser Champion and also Gragas, so I gotta prepare really hard. Okay, it's gonna be a fantastic matchup. Final question, Faker, um, you were there for the LCK domination. Lately, though, in the international tournaments, there's been a lot of LPL victories. What do you think is the state of the rivalry at this World Championship? 이제 페이커 선수는 사실은 LCK의 정말 황금기에서부터 활동을 하셨고 지금은 이제 돌이켜 보면 월드에서 많은 LCK LPL 대진 속에서 LPL이 조금 우세한 부분을 보여준 적도 있었는데 그렇다면 지금 올해 월드에서는 LCK 대 LPL 전력 비교 어떻게 생각하고 계신가요? <웃음> uh, 일단 뭐 저는 사실 지적이 중요하다고 생각하진 않고 그냥 팀이 중요한 것 같아서 지금 저희 팀 상태라면 어느 팀이든 충분히 이길 수 있다고 생각합니다. I don't I think what really matters is the team and based on our team's performance it's going to be a pretty winnable. Ooh. Well, I think that's a great note to end on. Can't tell me that. Faker. Thank you. Thank you. And Jason of course as always we're going to take a quick break.